A very good o'clock to all the students. Here I am Amisha, ma'am, your English grammar teacher. Students, today I am here to start our next chapter. That is chapter number eight, pronouns, personal and possessive. Okay. Before starting this chapter, students, we must know what pronouns are. Okay. So pronouns are those words which are used to avoid the repetition of a noun, or you can say in place of a noun, when a noun is being repeated to avoid its repetition, we use pronoun. How? See, if I am writing here, just look here in the book. If I am writing here, Amisha, ma'am, Amisha, ma'am is our English grammar. teacher okay next time writing here again amisha ma'am teaches well next time saying amisha ma'am comes to school daily okay so here if you could see students i have written amisha ma'am is our english grammar teacher amisha ma'am teaches well amisha ma'am comes to school daily okay or you can say amisha ma'am amisha ma'am is also our music in charge fine so here in this paragraph you would have noticed one thing that many times i used the word amisha ma'am many time four times i have used here okay and it is not sounding good to use this word since amisha is a name of a person it is a noun so this noun i have repeated many times and this is not looking good as well to avoid the repetition of this word amisha i am using in place of amisha since amisha is a name of a person and that is also a female so for that i could use here a pronoun which is she right students she is always used for females okay so if again i have to use firstly to i have used i have to use the name amisha ma'am because here i have to show what i am talking of i am talking of amisha ma'am then in second case i will avoid this name while adding a pronoun she again i will avoid this name by adding the pronoun she so now when you will read it it becomes amisha ma'am is our english grammar teacher she teaches us well she comes to school daily she is also our music in charge now i think it is looking far much better because we have uh, removed here amisha ma'am amisha ma'am which is repeating many times so students from this i just want to make you all clear that wherever you could see the repetition of a noun there you have to put a pronoun okay that means pronoun is a word which is used in place of a noun or you can say it is also used to avoid the repetition of noun for the males or for boys we have pronoun he for females we have she okay for animal and things we use it okay now let's talk here about again there are uh, some basic points that you should know related to the pronoun the form of a pronoun is fixed that means fixed means here if i am talking of he he is always being used for the male you can't use he for female okay a pronoun cannot be changed with the help of a prefix or suffix whatever pronoun whatever a pronoun is there that can't be changed in the sentence okay pronouns can be singular or plural in both cases you can use pronouns can be masculine feminine common and neuter masculine for males feminine for females common for the common like like if i'm saying here a very good o'clock to all the students student word is common here for all okay and neuter gender here that means the gender uh, which is non living okay 
Let's talk about personal pronoun. Personal pronoun itself word creates stand for persons, creatures or thing. Like in singular we use I and me. These are for personal pronoun. I, me, we, us, you, he, his, him, she, her, her, it, they, them. Okay. These are all our personal pronoun. In singular comes I, me, you, he, him, she, her and it. Whereas in plural we use we, us, you again, they and them. You comes for both singular and plural. Okay. It, it the pronoun it is used for animals and non-living things. Okay. Now students, let's talk about possessive pronoun here. We use possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns are what? In our previous chapter, I have explained you possession. Nouns, possession. Possession and possessive itself stands for belonging. Belonging means kisi cheez ka adhikar dekhana. Again, I am repeating the same example in the video that this pencil belongs to Amisha ma'am. So here this pencil is what? Is showing the, uh, here Amisha ma'am is showing a possession over this pencil. Okay. Or if I could say this pencil is mine. Mine means Mary. So here I have shown a possession of this pencil to me. That this pencil is mine. So mine word itself here is a pronoun which is showing possession which is used in place of a noun Amisha ma'am. Because if I have to say I could say as well this pencil belongs to Amisha ma'am. So here I have avoided or uh, uh, replaced this noun with the help of a pronoun mine. Okay, and this mine word is our possessive pronoun. So many possessive pronouns are there. Mine, yours, his, hers, ours. We can't say ours. We have to pronounce it at ours. Okay, theirs, its in our speech and writing. These pronouns shows belongings. Belongings, I have told you, adhikar dikhana. To so that they are called possessive pronoun. Okay. Like the spoon is not ours, it is hers. Spoon hamari nahi hai, uski hai. This umbrella is his and not mine. Okay. Now students, one more thing also just remember that my is not a possessive pronoun. Okay. Like if I am saying here, this is my pencil. Here pencil always remember pencil is a thing it is a noun my hair is in my hair is your possessive adjective it is showing possession because it is telling that this pencil is mine or this is my pencil but the ones which are showing possession or uh, which are qualifying the noun that this pencil is yours na my here you have written so here the ones uh, the words which shows the possession or which, which qualifies the noun they are your adjectives and it is showing possession, so it is being called as possessive adjectives. Always remember, possessive adjectives comes always before the noun. Noun se pehle aate hain. You can't say my as your possessive pronoun. Okay. Possessive pronoun only comes after your noun and uh, not after noun. Possessive pronoun always shows the belongings. Okay. Here are some pronouns. I, its possessive adjectives become my, but pronoun, possessive pronoun is mine. We. Its possessive project, uh, possessive adjective is our, whereas possessive pronoun is ours. You, its possessive project is uh, project, uh, possessive adjective is your, whereas possessive pronoun is yours. He is pos its possessive adjective is his. Again, possessive pronoun is also his. She, possessive project, uh, possessive adjective is her, whereas possessive pronoun is hers. They. Its possessive adjective is there, whereas possessive pronoun is theirs. It becomes it in possessive adjectives, whereas in possessive pronoun it is its. One more thing, just remember that a possessive adjective will always come before the noun as I have dictated above. Pencil is a thing which is a noun and before it whatever is coming, that is here you have used my, so it becomes your personal uh, possessive adjective. So possessive adjective always comes before the noun. Like this is my book. Book is here a noun and before it I have written my. So my becomes possessive adjective. 
होप सो स्टूडेंट्स द चैप्टर इज़ वेरी मच क्लियर टू यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस एक्सरसाइज ऑफ दिस चैप्टर बाई योर सेल्फ एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द चैप्टर बाई वॉचिंग द वीडियो कम्प्लीटली थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स